They say the meek will inherit the earth. We say the nerds are already in control. Welcome to the Frackin' Nerds, episode number 278. I'm your host, Doc Martin, and we'll start off with the O, the man, the myth, the East Coast with his birthday pillows. It's Joshua. Really? That's what you open with? I thought you were saying the man who just loves the blitz. No, no. Since we learned about your uh, birthday pillows, that is a terminology that we uh, no one has ever heard of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Joshua, does your uh, floor fan blow around your birthday pillows? Yeah, my floor fan, aka portable fucking AC, blows around my birthday. Pillows. And my in my truck, and uh, and while he's watching Fox Five. Oh yeah, Fox Five. Yes. <laughs> well, then, with that voice, as you can hear, that is. It's been a while. He's he's he said he's gotten done with all his schoolwork for the moment. So it is Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. How are you doing, sir? Doing good. He has warned us that class, he, so. he, he has brought the list of things that he needs to speak about. So uh, he will, I guess, he'll find that time to present it later. At some point. Yes. At some point. And then the other man who's uh, also across the bridge, uh, and he loves showing his baseball cards on his phones. That's our own Chris Class. That is uh, Joshua Caraballo's uh, college, college baseball days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. I was just talking about the hair. Like, the, I mean, the hair was uh, really Joshua's froey, froey <laughs> on the last show. If you've not checked it out, you can check it up on YouTube. Uh, and we also uh, show the uh, the actor. We all feel like he's uh, he sounds very close to. So I uh, called it. I, I called. Looked. I was like, watch him, watch him put that fucking picture in the fucking episode. And I'm watching <laughs> it, and I lo and fucking behold, there it is. And I went and searched for the uh, the one photo with you and the uh, the actor when you were at PWG. Uh, What's his name? Went in and out there, Doc. Do what? Went in and out. I didn't hear you. Oh, I said the uh, the the one actor that you had the picture with uh, at PWG because we, we were talking about how you meet some celebrities when you go down there to California. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah, go check it out on YouTube on our uh, Frackin' Nerds on the uh, Frackin' Nerds live video podcast. Or if you're on our Facebook or Twitter page, you'll see when they go up, which this will be one of the shows. Well, on today's show, the, mat- the Matrix and being trans, I know Kennedy will have a lot to say about this, Ren and Stimpy is coming back, and the Suicide Squad is getting a video game from Rockstar. All right, okay, that's what we wanted, the Suicide Squad game. Is that what you're... Do you want some fucking pay-to-play with it? No. Roll Rockstar's gonna give it to you. Oh, really? Wow, that's sad. Uh, no, because we, uh, the rumor was it was supposed to be a Superman game. Um, no, they, they gave us this. I don't think anybody wanted this. So, a Did we want a game would be Superman awesome. game? Do we really want a Superman That would be game? cool. That would yeah, be, they, 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 were, cool. they wanted to make it in like an open world Superman game that was kind of like, I believe. If we're going to get an, if we're going to get a Superman game, I want it done by, um, fuck. I never heard of The Paul. same people that did, um, the Arkham games. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, Warner that's, Brothers, like the Warner Brother, uh, um. I know that's one of the studios. Well, yeah, Rockstar. Rockstar, yeah. Rockstar. Rockstar, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's not Rockstar. Rockstar. It's the same company. I don't have my fucking phone, so I can't look it up. But, dude, you know what was really good was uh, Wolverine Origins for like 360. Did you guys like very rarely yeah, are like, I, I are, like movie that. video games like like video games based off the movies? Like very rarely have I noticed that they are, like were worth a ship. But, man, that game was like one of the greatest like games I've ever played in my life. Like, I love that. If they did that, like, I kind of, it kind of uh, is like uh, uh, the same kind of angle as uh, Ultimate Alliance. We're kind of like above, like top view kind of deal. I loved it. Do you like that, Kennedy? That would, that would be good for a Superman game, right? Yeah. Uh, I would wonder how they did the 3D flying. Yeah, like the, yeah I don't know. We'd just do a side scroller. like Because that's what you've got to, like, you've got to. You've got to have that 3D flying. That's why I was thinking the Arkham series because Batman can almost fly he in glides. that game. He glides. Glides. All this is just made style. Like a, a, an open world, you know, open world game. Yeah, I mean, but where, where would you have Superman go? Like, really? Metropolis. That's it? So it's well, like a Spider-Man it, game then? Hasn't it been established yeah. that Metropolis and Gotham are, like, right across from each other? Which makes no sense. What other two major cities are right next to each other? 
it's a comic book world. Oh my God, things don't follow the world. The I know, world. but I mean, it just it doesn't make any sense. You would go, let's build a whole city, and then across the the bridge, you're like, let's build another big city. Technically, you've got New York and Manhattan. What? Huh? I mean, they're the same city, but think of it. Tell me, Josh, that they're not separated up there. The Wouldn't that be the same are... premise? No, be because you, when you talk about New York City, you talk about Manhattan. But if you talk about New York, they're going to be like the state of New York. Is Would Fox Five be on uh, Gotham oh or? <laughs> I feel like when I, I don't know when I feel, I feel like when I was up there that there was lots of large buildings. I mean, obviously not on the scale of Gotham and Metro. You know, uh, fuck Metropolis. Whatever. Metropolis. Metropolis. But there were large buildings that weren't on Manhattan Island, like. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's the closest thing. But I here's the thing: of. is Superman can fly very fast, so he's not like Spider-Man, where you're you're going through the different buildings and moving around. Like you're not. It's it can be boring if you're just like. Z- I mean, it wasn't boring in Arkham when you did it with Batman. But he was gliding. He can't. Superman's gonna be flying much faster. I'm pretty sure they can make it in a way where it looks like he's going fast. Actually, I'll, super I'll tell you a game they did where you could fly that was still decent, even though you could fly, was um, Saints Row 4. Okay. Nobody played that piece of shit. <laughs> Somebody played it and made a lot of money. A <laughs> dildo gun. I like dildo guns. That was in the game? Yes. Did yes. anyone ever play that DC Universe game where it was like, it was free, but you could just keep paying to like, add more shit on and get coins on did anyone play that because this isn't superman on that game it's like an open world game no i think you you play as characters that can have certain powers like you can be a green lantern but you can't be oh okay uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay okay you can't be john stewart would you give yourself flight steady does the arkham games rock star does grand theft auto so okay. I'm and, well, well there was rock star and rock star north so so, it, but it's and it's still rock steady. That's uh, doing the. Um, we'll talk about it when we get there. Jesus Christ, we got way too much on a <laughs> fucking tangent by that. We got so Thank much. God I, I did this at home. <laughs> well, uh, Amazon may be trying to turn uh, the old JC Penney's and Sears stores that are in your malls that are slowly dying into um, warehouse fulfillment centers, which makes sense. I thought they were going to do that when they bought Borders like utilize them as just a, a small maybe bookstore and then the back is fulfillment where they can easily get stuff quickly out to you. There's going to have to be a lot of modifications to those buildings. Well, yeah, especially if you're talking about with um, the, the... I'm, I'm thinking of it as a trucker truck. from a trucker stand. Oh, yeah, it's not easy to drive into those places, are they? No, no you can get in two at a time at best. And this, the ones that are in the malls, you can't even get like but one into at a time. So they're going to have to modify those. Well, I mean, it, well, yeah, you just I would I would assume you make some kind of lanes for the trucks. It's not right? that easy, man. I don't know, man, on like those Corvettes or whatever they give away at the mall. Just bring all the supplies in on those, and you could just totally eliminate <laughs> like trucks because there's cars everywhere inside the fucking mall. <laughs> it's a fucking parking lot in there giving away. I don't shit. know. They're looking, the malls are looking <laughs> dead lately, man. I, I don't remember last time I went into a mall, honestly. <laughs> Drive yeah, by can... the Green Tree Mall sometime. Pandemic? Oh, well, I think right. the mall is like that too. I mean, I know this is great for anyone that doesn't live in Indiana or Louisville, Kentucky. So I'm sure it's probably, probably wherever you're listening to this. I'm sure yeah, you're probably... Malls, probably pretty shitty as well. Right All now. malls are dirt malls, <laughs> aren't they? I mean, it's just. Like, I mean, why would you want like, getting why taken would you over by to... Nirvana stores and flea markets? <laughs> like, has anybody been to a mall recently? You yeah. know what? I take it back. I went to St. Matthew's, Mall St. Matthew's, uh, like three weeks ago. And I went into a like in GameStop and I picked up some like Cheesecake Factory shit. That's one of my favorite malls if I'm going to go out to one. But... I mean, dude, their food court, like, you don't find food courts like. I don't know. At least not around here. Like, I don't know. Living in Southern Indiana. This is a very isolated episode. <laughs> like you said, Doc. <laughs> very but dude, very like, specific to a location. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, bless, bless you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, anyway. All right. We don't have to talk about food courts. <sighs> Moving on. You two prank stars, the Stoke Twins. We're all big fans of them, right? They got arrested. Never heard of them until today. <laughs> I know. Never. <laughs> Uh, they're going to be charged with a felony after a fake bank robbery. The 23-year-old twin brothers, known for the best for posting prank videos, though I've never heard of them ever in my life, uh, charged with felony related to a fake uh, bank robbery. Uh, they actually recorded it and then uploaded it, because that makes sense. And that Uber um, driver is going to sue the fuck out of them. Oh, they use an Uber driver to, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't hear about uh, that? Uh, no. They they tried to jump into his car and take off, and he told him, no, get the fuck out of my car. But the cops rolled up at the same time and then started pointing guns at the fucking Uber driver. Oh, my God. And, like, that guy's, like, fucking traumatized now because he thought oh, he was going to get shot, and then it turns out to be over some stupid shit like that. Like, no, he's going to sue the fuck out of him. So, what, they jump in acting like they had just robbed a bank? and were well, they, to- well, yeah, they jumped in his car doing that, but they ran through, like, a courtyard in a in a town like pretending like they robbed a bank like oh, it was a big Christ. fucking deal are these and white then, people then they got arrested oh yes they got arrested and then they did it again two hours later even though they apologized i yeah I, you you've got to make them an example you gotta you gotta take so care Shot make an example of jake paul when he did that shit so, no uh, when they when they caught video of him uh like Looting into right a in mall or something like that. They feds went to his house and I think they arrested him, didn't they? they no, they just Singapore. raided his house. Oh, okay. They took um, all his guns. But they said it wasn't in, in, in relation to the gun. They, they we still don't know why the FBI went to his house. Yeah, they haven't released that yet. Remember in the nineties when like Singapore like came that dude and it made like national news. The graffiti like, hey, kid. Just they bring that, that back. Kid with a pole. <laughs> bring him back, but let Sandman do the Caney man. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's still yeah, the I don't think he has the power to do that anymore. He's, he's up Just give there. Some beers. He'll be fine. Nah, if, he can, if he can still slam the fucking beers against his head the way he did, though. he'll be all right. Imagine he, he like, be all right, yeah. those guys, and then like you hear the music come on. It's like a public like flogging, man. They just <laughs> take him out to Times Square and like. Stone Cold stole my gimmick. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. They didn't do it with Brock Turner. They shouldn't do it with anybody else. Oh, All right. God. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> I don't know who that is. That's the guy that got caught raping that girl behind womp, the trash can. Womp, 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 and then he womp. fucking, the judge let him off because he had a bright future ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was the start of everything. That pretty much the start of where the Me Too started. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was one of the big up. starts. Because they were, oh, just, wow. they were, it was ridiculous the, the charges. I mean, that, that, that's where white privilege really showed up. His dad said, he's got such a good future and he's a good swimmer. And he's not even on the Olympics, so it's like... Well, Hasbro is pulling their Trolls dolls after complaints to it promotes child... Dude, abuse. that doll is creepy. So so if you've not seen the doll, and, and definitely if you're watching the, the YouTube, I'm, I'll put the video up there. What uh, is this? So it's these troll dolls, and so this one has like this kind of skirty dress, and when you push on her... Skirty dress? Yes. Skirt, the skirt, skirt. yes. Well, it's like a dress, isn't it? Not a skirt, but a dress. No, it's a skirt. It's a skirt. Yeah, okay. skirt. You, when you press on her belly, she mm. says things. And then, for some reason, she has a button in between your, her no-no areas, I guess you would what? say. What? Yeah. yeah. In between her legs. Yes, in between her legs. <laughs> and that's the button that activates her out of demo mode. <laughs> it's you a, have to hold it down like, while she Why would you not put this on the back of the doll? And then apparently when you push the button, it, it goes like, ooh, we. I think uh, this is going to sound a bit, um, oh, conspiracy theory, but I think the toy industry does things every few years to get attention, even if it's negative attention, like they're trying to do. Because you remember a few years back, there was that doll where you pushed its belly so many times it said, Islam is the light. What? 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 Yeah. <laughs> It was this huge thing, and it, there was videos all over the place of people going to the stores and like breaking them and like you gotta, destroying you gotta, them. I, I've never even heard of this. Yeah, yeah, Google it, it then. That's it, the premise of like the last action hero, whatever that. <laughs> it's a toy that says Islam. Islam is, Islam the, is the light baby. Let me see. The only thing I heard about Islam popping up was when that guy drew it in the X Men comic book. All right, yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play the audio f- for us. We'll see how it is. Islam is the light. Yes, I gotta hear this. Oh shit! You guys are probably not hearing that. 
No. I, don't, I can hear it. No. I'm going to hear kaboom. <laughs> Riveting. <laughs> Just silence. Silence on a podcast. Is- <laughs> I'll, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to pull the video. This will be some post production. All right. So this is where we all react. Like, oh shit! It sounded just <laughs> like it. Oh my god! Hold on. Oh, I can't see if I can. A product, a product like that out in the, in the real world. I think. Oh I can, man. Here we go. Hold on. I think right. you can be able to hear it now. Mama, but Angie Gosselin. Yep. Heard quote. Bin Laden is the light. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up! You can't hear it. That's not right. Any, any toy shit. Any toy that makes that uh, sound shouldn't say Bin Laden is the light. Why That's did only. I know that, that, that just the only one that should be saying things like that. When I heard it, I did because I actually went to the store and, and listened. I didn't hear uh, Bin Laden is the light. I heard Islam is the light. <laughs> That's ten times worse. Bin Laden is the light. I think Bin Laden would be like worse, yeah, than Islam is the light. Yeah. And when you when you see this video, she looks like somebody that you know is not going to wear their mask into the store. I just want to point <laughs> that out. Uh, I was going to say, go. I am, why am I not surprised to like hear that kind of that accent follow she, like, she, that new uh, story? <laughs> yes, I don't have to wear my mask. I got a breathing problem because yeah, because COVID's going to do very well with your breathing problem. Please continue walking around with no mask. Oh, uh, fight that fight! Let's, uh, okay, so let's I have fight. to every day. Here, let's let's. I go to people's houses every day, seven to eight houses every day. None of them are wearing masks and every single one of them invite me into the house to sit down and they offer me a drink. Nobody cares about this goddamn mask thing unless you're in public. Right. But you are in public with you going and servicing people's houses. I'm not saying I'm not. How many of these places are you doing not in Indiana? Do what? How many of these places are not in Indiana? Oh, I, we only operate in Indiana. That's the only uh, Thank you. zones we have. Oh, <laughs> shut your face. They were the first ones to be like, let everybody back I in. how defensive you are that Kentucky's better than Indiana, you backwoods hick motherfucker. Hey, we're, we're, keep, we're keeping our shit. numbers down. We're keeping <laughs> our numbers down. And y'all keep coming over here and passing that disease. I just hope the day I visit. Uh, you, you know what? Just go, go report to Daddy Andy and shut your mouth. We love Andy. <laughs> well let's continue on with movie news and uh the biggest news coming out is the wachowski sisters have come out and said that the matrix trilogy movie is about being a transgender what? i feel like that's misleading how do you define it then joshua i from my understanding was when i read the article and i didn't read all the way through it is they wanted it to be about a transgender person but then it got scrapped. Now, is that accurate or? No, they, I think he, he, they wanted to push a agenda about trans and they felt like they couldn't do it because of at the time it wouldn't get over, but they had a character named switch, which Kennedy can probably remembers because nobody else I think remembers. With, that, that could have been a, a trans person. Yes. And they said it was, was the, because it was a, what a man on in the real was, world and was female in the the Matrix. Not Wait, in the, the one that was, pimp, <laughs> was that the one that was pimping out the bitch in the red dress? No, no, that's Mouse. Uh, oh. Switch was the like Swedish blonde woman with spiky hair. And she yeah. says, right, <laughs> right before she dies, she says, "Not like this," and then she just fucking hits the floor. So, so when, it's uh, already a character that she was already like a trans. There is a character, uh, yes. Like but, character. Okay. Mm-hmm. But and she, they wore, were, oh. she didn't wear female clothes. She wore a suit. She had spiky hair. Like, I could see that. Wait, so so that was the one that died when uh, fucking Joey Pantalone did portray them? Yeah. Yeah, nobody would have made that connection, especially during the time the movie came out. They just was like, oh. So, what, so what's, what's the what's the... So they made a character about it, and it's just now coming out that that's – I don't understand. No, they're saying – from what I understand, what Doc is saying is they wanted Neo to be a trans character, but they, they didn't well, – they, they weren't allowed. Yes, and they also said it, it, it is a part of the film because of his transition from Thomas Anderson to Neo is a trans 
Oh, okay. No, this cool is bar. this is hindsight's twenty twenty trying to make some shit out of nothing. Yeah. Because there was an exactly. entire plot line that Neo's love for Trinity was so deep that he he was able to save her life. That's nothing like, about trans then, right? That at all. No, I mean it's a very I don't know. I feel like it's one of the times things and they're just trying to do you feel like it's like it's like jk rawlings with her like coming oh my out God, like, did she just fucking ruin well no her she well that but i'm just saying like when all of a sudden after all the she? Books, like dumbledore's gay and everybody's like how because nothing that you wrote defined him as being well, like gay. she so yeah she fucked up bad because she did do the Dumbledore was gay thing even though he he had no love interest in nope. the movies so there was no reason for it. She did it just to be part of the movement. Mm-hmm. But then she, then she turned around and Speaking was like, trans. fuck trans people, <laughs> fuck abortions. Like, she did a lot of shit. She pretty much said that any any person that is trans that is now a woman is not really a woman. Because they don't bleed, they don't have babies, so you cannot count them as a woman. Science. Yes. <laughs> and Harry Potter's, like, very big. LGBTQT plus minus question mark um, are big fans of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were. <laughs> they, no, they I still know. are. They are like excommunicating fucking J.K. Rowling. Like they're like, yes, uh, they don't. Let's they don't get that, that the person she's... who creates this, this world we love. <laughs> right. So didn't she just get like a deal too? Like I saw that in passing. They she's... they gave, she, she's doing something new. Yeah, she's Something still like, going to get money. Like they, even if they support, if they still support Harry Potter at all, she's still getting the money. So, yeah, yeah she still owns the rights to it. So anything created from that world, she's going to get the money for. But yeah, you do kind of just need to get her off the internet and be like, you've, you've you're burning too. Much. She's like she's Donald not. Trump. Somebody needs to take her fucking like ability to tweet and post. <laughs> yes, is she, like, just, is she really old? Like, just doesn't like. Doesn't know what she's she doing. She wrote the first Harry Potter when she was thirty nine or something like that. And she was homeless, like yeah. sitting in a cafe. Are you blitzing right now? What? No. You, what are you doing? Nothing. You're sitting there on your phone. Join the what? in the show. <laughs> I am on the show. Joshua, <laughs> you're surrounded by your loved ones today. It's all right. Be a we part. We all want to talk to you. Yes, be a part of the show. I what the? I literally just dropped like five gems. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what did he drop? Five gems. jugs. No, I don't know what that means. What are jugs? Oh, like little fun, funny lines. Gems. Oh, oh like jokes. Gems. Okay. I'm just saying, be a part of the show. Be with us. I'm a part of the show. Stop. I knew don't you were. Do that. <laughs> don't do that. All right. Well, everyone's been begging for it, and two things that you know go well together is Tron and Jared Leto. So we're going to be getting a uh, a new Tron movie with the uh, director of Lion, Gareth Davis, that I think is going to be coming to Disney Plus, possibly. Well, I know the way things are going, probably Disney Plus. Disney uh, Plus, Chris Class, good way to fucking call it. Last episode, dude. On what's that? Mulan. You said I bet they bring Mulan out, and then they charge you to rent it. And then mm. la- in the last couple of days, they said, "Yep." 30 bucks they, is that did. what they did yeah i yeah. figured that's what i figured it's just a matter of time with like everyone else doing that like i think amazon amazon originally is doing that with like the new release movies right and i guess i don't know if others have if they originally did it or others that just like universal's been doing it like they okay. they were the first ones to and that's what amc and them got in a big fight where amc was like no we're not gonna if you're gonna be throwing your stuff up without really coming to a theater we're not gonna and then they made a deal where like okay we'll 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 suck on your tit for a little bit because you know the Fast Furious movies well, make money, and and it was like you know you're not going to get a lot of other people signing up the way they did for like Mandalorian for this one movie. So I mean that's that was like my question to you, Doc. When and I was like, how are you going to get more people to sign up? And I guess that's how you would recoup your costs. But thirty so bucks. Oh yeah, you get them to sign up and then uh, confirm. Okay. I've got a delay in going on mine. Sorry, I didn't mean to railroad your or, or derail your. Uh conversation about jared leto still trying to remain relevant no keep talking <laughs> he's a garbage actor i don't <laughs> uh whatever okay riveting thank you so much for that <laughs> he's trying to pull that marky marky mark fucking transition and he can't do it marky mark transition? what the fuck are you talking about 
Mark Wahlberg's a much better actor than he was a singer. Well, he was always a singer. Right. So Jared Leto's a singer trying to make that transition to acting, but he can't do it because he sucks nuts. Okay. Wasn't he an actor before he did that? Yeah, uh, yeah that's what I was saying. Wasn't he, like, yeah, wasn't he an actor before? I thought he was like a young actor, but I don't remember. Wasn't he like some teen actor in the 90s? No, well, that doesn't count for shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was on like uh, 902 and hours. I don't know what he was on. I don't know what he was on. Leonardo so. DiCaprio. Yeah, nobody gives a shit about you as a teenage actor. <laughs> no, fucking Marvin's room sucked. Dude, Leo DiCaprio was like less than a teenager when he was on, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, Growing Pain? Growing yeah. Pain. Yeah, he was super young on that. Wasn't he on that fucking one movie with Johnny Depp? Yeah, what's eating Gilbert's grape? Yeah, Gilbert grape, whatever. What's eating he Gilbert's grape. <laughs> yeah, that's what the movie is. What's eating Gilbert's grape? What's eating Gilbert grape? Gil- Gilbert, Gilbert grape is eating- his name, not Gilbert's I grape. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> no, I thought it wasn't it called What's Eating Gilbert's Grape? No, it's eating Gilbert grape because it was him. <laughs> his name is Gilbert grape, isn't it? Nobody's sucking on his nut. Like <laughs> I like I would have seen hey, Josh's hey, version dude. better. <laughs> hey, dude, why don't you look this up to see what the fucking title of the name was? I don't even know if he's there. I, is he delayed? Oh summon the Google bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. What is he doing? What are you doing? He's he's fixing it. He's he's, 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 he's on loosening it. his hair. So we could just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to. We don't need anyway, to, uh, I think it's called. When you, <laughs> okay, so now, is, since Doc is tied up, now's the perfect time for me to bitch at Joshua just a little bit about you, something that was said in the last two episodes. Are you so spitting hot fire? Or one, or one motherfucker. We were at Concave playing that stupid goddamn movie game. And you were, I was like, I don't understand how y'all have so much time to consume so much media. And you were like, you just do it. We can do it all the time. We watch all this stuff. And then... There you go, Joshua. Then, What's he doing? Uh, Great. There. Okay. All so right. And then, last episode, class was just very... He's like, oh, I just, I just don't watch that much stuff. And I, I I don't find the time to do it. And you were like, class, I understand what you mean, man. I can't watch it. I'm doing YouTube videos all the time. And I'm like, motherfucker. Well, <laughs> because- you guys know that they are making a India Forrest Gump? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like a Bollywood Forrest Gump? I don't know if it's going to be a Bollywood. Uh, but it's there's got to be. It's called uh, Lala Singh Chada. Um, and it's a Hindu language for Forrest Gump remake. Uh, it's it's starring their megastar Amir Khan, who you all may know. Um, uh, the they, boxer? The, no. <laughs> and uh, they they were hoping to have it done way before now, but COVID hit, and so they're gonna hopefully start working on it. But it's gonna be set in the world of India, as if it was Forrest Gump. So all the history and everything that you would saw with Forrest Gump now would be within. You think they're gonna do like the AIDS thing, like they did with? No, it would be COVID now. You got to keep with the times, right? It wouldn't be co- no, because then you're nah. re- you're really dating yourself. You do COVID. Because <laughs> like, what happens if they get a cure for COVID in, in a year? What happens if they get a cure for AIDS? They're not. Yeah, there's too much money to be made on, on the AIDS. They could just make it syphilis. There's always that, a that's cure. timeless. There's always been a cure, Kennedy. Wink. Ah, <laughs> uh, so are you guys excited for uh, the? Uh, like, what would be a weird movie that is very Americanized that you could, that some other country could make that would just blow your mind? I'm mean, thinking about it. Uh, Top Gun. Top Gun. So, like, where? Wow. Let's go with Top Gun, Joshua. Where, where is it going to be filmed at? If I'm going to guess. You're going to, no, you're not going to guess. You're going to come up with a concept. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up with Top Gun, but, like, in fucking Iraq. <laughs> you'd have to make it like japan so it's like then you get all the kamikaze i was like, thinking I was, um, so you're setting top was, gun in like during world war ii is what you're saying Clark? yeah let's see oh, it no. let's see it through the uh the other eyes well you know he's not gonna be in the sequel so <laughs> well, i mean if you do it in japan then goose is definitely going down right yeah he's getting necked <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Anybody else <laughs> with a concept movie that is very American that Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, where are you putting it at? 
Uh, Switzerland. <laughs> okay. I want to see that dance scene. <laughs> Class, do you have any uh, concept ideas? Let's see. Let's put uh, Captain America in <laughs> Zimbabwe. I don't know. Fucking, I just I don't isn't know. that Black Panther? Yeah, isn't that Black Panther? Pretty much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get this man. Right. <laughs> I mean, he's a he's a super soldier that defends his country. His country, okay, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right when it comes to that. What about fictional country? What about gremlins, but in Russia? I've never seen gremlins. How the what the hell? What in the, who? <laughs> in Soviet Russia, gremlins pour water on you. Like you've never seen gremlins? No. What if we watch that's Rocky? It. What is it? Rocky three. Four, uh, but Rocky Four, but Thousand. you watch it from Russia, like, oh, like the movie's about about uh yeah Ivan Drago. Uh, well, I was hoping they would have did that with Creed Part Two. They do a spinoff with Drago and his son, but I guess mm. they're not gonna make money. That okay. was like in Rocky in the movies was like he's supposed to be like the Tyson of the time, and Drago was the like was he the big draw? Like, or- no, what happened was. Uh, you know, he killed, he, spoilers if you haven't seen it he killed apollo he kills yeah. apollo because like they were no just... apollo killed apollo because he didn't throw in the towel yes he had more than enough chances to stop and he didn't okay. but Drago anyway. showed no no remorse and that's yeah what him the big bad yeah that's what if he was. dies <laughs> he dies if he dies he dies that phrase fucking spurred the nation but it's it's, <laughs> it's kind of one of those things where it's like uh drago was like that anti-american like project that was going to dominate america because there was a hidden agenda of like america versus russia in that movie so well that was and that was, was like he was the big the bad time. uh fucking yeah that was the, cold that was still the cold 80s. war era yeah yeah because you had reagan and gorbachev and you had all that you know in the yeah. 80s that was like perfect for that time yeah Russia the, the end the where they all start shouting Rocky like that was so fucking <laughs> Russian saying Rocky or uh... yeah there you go oh, okay. but the Russians hated Rocky when he started fighting Drago but at the very end they just started saying Rocky because they saw how corrupt their government was <laughs> they just saw it then in the movie yeah they're like they realized like oh you know it took like, a boxing Drago, fight <laughs> uh, even Drago was like they were like you have to beat him for the country he's like I'm not beating him for you I'm beating him for me. <laughs> and they kind of they they didn't really do it in Creed. They just was like, oh, you you know, I my father killed your father, and it was just like, eh. And then even the way he beats it, uh, he beats um Creed. I mean, he beats Drago's son. Spoilers is they throw in the towel. <laughs> ironically mm-hmm. so. well when we were talking with class saying he's never seen gremlins i think that should be his newest assignment for uh this week gremlins? we talked about gremlins or uh, gremlins too no well, he has one the first one because then he's co- completely clueless plus gremlins baby steps guys off baby steps. the wall like gremlins <laughs> 2 just if you've ever seen the the key and peel sketch they're putting be in, a part of they're it putting in have you guys watched key and peel? <laughs> i have so, but i haven't seen that so key and peel did a sketch where they're talking about gremlins 2 and they're like, just come up with ideas. It, Guys, nothing right is back. a bad idea. And everything they say is actually in the movie. We lost Kennedy, apparently. Uh, and, and said so it'd be right just, back if you paid attention. Like, it's in the movie. <laughs> That's in the movie. So you've got to watch the first one just to kind of understand where it's going to go. But you actually watched Dread, which we gave you homework on the, the previous show. I did. And uh, what did you think of it? Dude, I'm so glad you guys recommended this to me. Um, it. Okay, it's an hour and a half movie, maybe an hour and 39 minutes, something like that. I took note of this because it took me two days to watch it. So <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I tell you, man, it's like... You really do have my, ADHD. You yeah, really do. ADD. I, I'm not, I don't have the hyperactive part. I you just, do have my, the hyperactive my, part. I, <laughs> do there. I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true, man. But uh, Dread was awesome, man. Like, I thought the cinematography was awesome. Like, the CG looked great. Like, whenever they would, like, do this, like, meth or whatever, like, drug they're doing. And, like, all the stars just came around and What's music. And everything again? Was kinda, um, I forgot what it was called. But it was I – never, I never even did catch the name of it. No, they but, did um, say it. I know yeah. they said it. Uh, but, dude, the guy who played Dread was awesome. blows everything down. Like, you're uh, – Yeah. You see, like, there's a scene at, like, the beginning where they're raiding into this house and they're just – they're all smoking it and they're seeing, like, just – bullet holes. people are getting bullet. shot yeah. all over so graphic and it's like i haven't seen a movie this like graphic and like badass since like i mean this like was a throwback to like 
80s, like well, 90s. It felt, like, you know, like, that... it felt like the raid where they're having to move up, except the raid they're having to move down. That. I, oh okay. Goodness. Well, <laughs> it's called. It, it, but it was like it was like, yeah, yeah, it was like, you. dude, it was like a, a first blood where it's like you just had like a badass going through and just kicking ass and like no matter what, he was just a dude. But like no matter what, he was just like he was the one guy taking down like an army, like you know. And it was, uh, I, I thought the the girl. It took a little bit for like the mutant girl, his partner, to like Andrew kind of like, to yeah. grow on me. And uh, I ended up really liking her. Um, I thought uh, Cersei Lannister, she was, like, such a badass. Like, she was such a good bad guy. Lena Hartley before she was Cersei Lannister. Yeah, yep. yeah. That was uh, – was it, really it, was, it was very in, uh, good. Lena Hartley, she was good in that um, – fuck, what's it called? Didn't she do, like, the Terminator The Purge. The yeah, purge. she was in the first Purge. She was, mm. she was really good in the Purge. Especially the ending when they were all sitting at the table. Right. <laughs> But dude, some of those scenes where they would give, uh, they would do those drugs, and then they threw like those. Uh, were, they, were they cops? The crooked cops or whatever from the very beginning, and it threw them down in slow motion. It's like, dude, what a terrifying way to like die. You're going like twenty some stories, and it's going so <laughs> slow. That's what made like oh, the it's... ending death scene so fucking cool. He was like, "How do we not kill her?" But her heartbeat is still slow, and there's. A- because she had the bomb. Yeah, the bomb heartbeat. that would go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just like, here you go. And he fucking threw her. And I was like, that was amazing. Dude, was and when she crazy. fell and it just like the blood just splattered like, blah, like. But that's the thing, so though. So graphic, this movie. And I needed something like that. It did take you me two days to watch. The, the cinematography, because she gets thrown off the thing and lands on concrete. But right. we're watching it from like a, gl- a lens. And yeah. it cracks, yeah. too. Which I thought like it was, was glass, so fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, dude, it was so good, man. It was and, and a cool. I mean, it was like uh, like First Blood, tied into like RoboCop, tied into like all those '80s type of like you know just fucking badass action movies. Man. It did, Loved it. it. Did, did Thank you for the recommendation. Very, did have a very '80s feel to it. One hundred percent, but way better looking. Yeah, yeah. you guys should uh, go back and try to watch Total Recall again. The the, the, the original the original one because the the new one's horrible. Yeah, that one sucked. Yeah. You know you're in a really bad society when dubstep is played everywhere you're going. No, the original. <laughs> the original was so bad. Just was it really? I no, remember really bad. liking it. It's, it's a fun movie. It, oh, the graphics are horrible. It's just just the malls. Yeah, it's a great just movie. I wish I had three hands. Or that's like the only line I remember. You made me wish I had three hands. <laughs> <laughs> and all right so what's my you think about it you got two hands and you've got a, and mouth. a mouth so you can utilize everything you have my man you know you know yeah. you know how to take so, care of her what's the uh what's the my assignment for uh I would before say it's gremlins if you, you gotta watch gremlins. gremlins okay i'll watch gremlins yeah. although i will i my like you have to watch Gremlins, but I honestly think that Gremlins 2 was better than Gremlins 1. But you can't you go into shift. Gremlins yeah, 2 yeah. not knowing what the fuck's going on. Right. If, I, if I make it past Gremlins, I'll try to watch Gremlins tonight because I got to work the next three nights. I'll be working. So, like, tonight's a perfect night for me to w- try to watch it. And as a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago here, we're about to, like, locate ourselves or, you know, isolate ourselves. Uh, a couple weeks ago at Georgetown, Indiana, the Georgetown Drive-In, try to get my daughter to go. She didn't feel like going, though. It was uh, Gremlins and Goonies. Mm. And neither one of them I, have I seen that. Well, I, I love that Georgetown's doing an old school thing. It, oh, and last oh, night, the one in, oh, like, uh, really? LaGrange or wherever that other one is, stop, stop, they showed... Stop. Class, class. Yeah. Who are your parents? Can I have a talk with <laughs> them because i don't know why they were like we hate our child so much that we can't let him watch very good entertainment in the 80s like what are just okay what do you what movies do let's, you remember let's, from the 80s let's save goonies for the round table uh, I, I played a lot like i remember playing outside like Oh, you were at one point, like <laughs> you're the playing outside kid. Yeah, I played a lot of sports and stuff like that. But at one oh. point, like we were like, I don't know, growing up, man. Like it was, we, uh, I don't know. It was like I remember. I don't remember like my parents being together that long. But when we were like when they were, I remember it was like, it was it was pretty tight. And we like, I don't think we had money to go to the movies. <laughs> Yo, you know what classes? Classes that they're like that the nerd like. When he goes to like all these places and they talk about shit that he doesn't know, they'd be like, "Class, what the fuck were you doing? 
I don't know, man. Just playing games outside. I was, and I was outside playing bitches. sports. I don't know. What were you all doing? I was, I was like, we're was, just sitting around playing Nintendo. I was, Nintendo. Like, I was <laughs> playing it. I played Nintendo a bunch. I did do that. I did play Nintendo, so it's like, like yeah. <laughs> movies. It's like, like I never got it. I never like. There's I mean, an episode I, I, of Friends where uh, they're talking about Lord of the Rings, and Chandler and Ross are like, "Would you never?" They're looking at Joey, and they're like, "You never let, read Lord of the Rings in high school?" He's like, "No, I had no, sex. Sex. I was too busy having yeah. sex." Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like that happened. Like I turned as soon as I got my license. It was like, man, Fox Fox City. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's I mean, class. Like. He's the nerd, but he was. You think the nerd kids these days know what the word poontain means? Yes. <laughs> There's a song with it, with the connotation of it. Just now, it's like number one now. I don't know, man. I work with this girl; she uh, just turned eighteen, and I swear to God, she doesn't get any references. Uh, why? Why are you talking poontain with an eighteen-year-old girl? No, no, I didn't say that <laughs> specific <laughs> reference. <laughs> oh, okay. all right. Hey, I'm not hating, man. I was about to look virtual nux, buddy. <laughs> High five. <laughs> no man i just i don't know i i never there was a lot of christmas movies i had never seen up until like my daughter being born and then like my wife was like let's introduce you know let's watch like a new christmas movie or you know just something not new but like the grinch or like i've never seen what's the one with the kid with the glasses and the leg lamp i've never wait, seen wait, that you shit just the grinch, which which is like i've seen the grinch old you're like let's bring the grinch yeah, I know. I said, well, I also year, said no, you movie. should. This is what your viewing habit should be. You should want Charlie Brown Christmas should be on there. I've seen that. I've you seen should, that. The Grinch. You Rudolph. I've seen Rudolph. I've, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've um, a Christmas Nine, Story. Nightmare Before I haven't Christmas. Seen that. Nightmare Before I haven't Christmas, seen that. which you can watch in Halloween and then in Christmas. Okay, I haven't uh, seen that. Um, do not watch Jingle, Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way is a piece of shit. I haven't seen that. Die Scrooge. Hard. You have to I watch saw Scrooge. Hard. I've never seen Scrooge, Die, Hard. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. How it's it is a Christmas, Christmas movie. Christmas. Yeah, it's, it's Christmas. Bruce, Bruce Willis came out and said it's not oh, a Christmas movie. I'm taking his advice. Yeah, he, take, yeah, take that asshole. The, the, the one guy they didn't really want to be in that movie because they didn't feel like he had any the flair for it. I'm going to go with that guy, not not the person who directed Anyways, it. Anyways, class, make sure you watch uh, Christmas Vacation. Mm. Christmas. I've seen that. I've seen that. That's a good one. Okay, that is a good one. I have seen. Well, that. guys, do we need to? So, okay, I'm like five hundred. Since he he likes eighty actions movies, should we maybe now have him watch Die Hard instead of Goonie or uh, uh, Gremlins? No, he needs seen to watch Die Gremlins. Hard. He said I haven't he seen didn't. Die Hard. No, he needs, no, he it. needs to watch Gremlins before Die Hard. <laughs> Yo, he, you're you're worse than Matt. You literally yeah. are worse than Matt. I just yeah, I haven't seen it. Wow. Star Wars. I've seen those a whole bunch. I can. Could... <laughs> oh. All right. So is it uh, Die Hard? I'll watch that between now. I, and I, I, no, uh, Gremlins. I don't Gremlins. know. We got one vote for Gremlin. Joshua. Fuck you. Tell him to watch Gremlins because I'm pretty sure he's going to hate Gremlins. <sighs> well, I want to enjoy what I watch. No. All right, watch so, it. So, so Gremlins, I Gremlins and then Die Hard. I Die hated hard. Gremlins 1, but I loved Gremlins 2, so. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. liked that trans uh, Gremlin <laughs> one, right? <laughs> no, like the New York, the fucking New York, New York song was just, it got me. Well, that was the intelligent one, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he actually, right. what, what, which, which nighttime show was it? He went on a nighttime show and did an interview in the movie. It was weird, but. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, and no. then he took over the show. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't listen to him, class. No, no, no. Gremlins do it. Yeah, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to watch uh, Steve, uh, First Blood. No, why? If you're going to watch a fucking 80s action movie, Die Hard. I mean, okay. yeah, you're not supposed to watch things you watched already. You have to watch yeah. things you never you watched. Like, Let's okay. watch the prequels again. Because Star Wars is so good. I was going to say Cobra. That was a good movie. Is that the one where he's hunting the serial killer? It wasn't it? He always had... Ah, fuck. Maybe he I had dark shades on and shit. In the nice yeah, 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 yeah. He had a black car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, watch okay. Gremlins. Come back and tell us what you uh, think of Gremlins. All right. All right, I'll do that. Uh, I'll take notes. Is what I, I thought about that while I was almost done with Dread the second time, or finishing it the second day. And I was like, I should have taken notes, like like things that stood out. But it's like, yeah, I'll try to do that. You talked about things that stood out. Okay, this is, this okay. Is, I have a concave thing for us to do. It's called watch us watch a movie with class that he's never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a there was a movie room there a few years ago. So I'll, I'm doing that. If we get a room, God willing, I'm doing. <laughs> all right, from four to eight. Well, in their way to like do a like live viewing, like where we can put the movie down here and then have us up on top, and then we're just watching. With I feel like there's some copyright laws. Well, there. you know what? Like Joshua and I did uh, was we watched 
we pulled it up on Netflix. So everyone had to hit like, we're like, yeah, we're at the three second mark on your market set, like ready to set go and hit play at the same time. And we watched Nacho Libre that way. So like, we just talked about it or we would be quiet and like some no, of the I've audio seen, would play. like people doing viewing parties where they've got okay. it's, because it's not doing a full screen or something like that. I think you're allowed to do things like that. Maybe we, we wouldn't we'll look it up. Be able to boss it up man. On, I, well, I'll try to figure it out. Cause I, I, I would, like to experience that would be awesome. Movies with class that he's never. Here's <laughs> a list of movies. Yeah, I'd definitely be down to do that, man. And I get made fun of because I somehow get able to watch. Dude, it. we gotta watch Last Action Hero. I haven't seen that. Let's get them through Die Hard first, okay? Before we just—I just no, I just thought about it. Like for some reason, it's just like, all right, what's going on with your pops in the background? What do you mean? What's going on? With them? They have blood on the box. Yeah. That, he he put all the blood boxes together. Is that what's going on? Yeah, that's, awesome. no, well, that's that's everything that either like Chucky's got a blood box and uh, uh, shit. Um, Shaun of the Dead, the Walking Dead, oh. Shaun of the Dead, Walking. Yeah, I think Negan's got one. So yeah, and Michael Myers and Jason, the from the video game Jason, right there. You see my finger pointing, and uh, yeah, and Venom, which is signed by Ryan. St- Stegman and uh, Donnie Cates. That's awesome. Yeah. Class, you go to the drive-in a lot? The Georgetown drive-in? No, man. I haven't. I wanted to go actually last night to, um, is it LaGrange? I'm sorry, I'm eating yeah. right now. The, um, the Sauterberry Farm or something like that? Yeah, yeah. They had, yeah. they did Empire Strikes Back and um, um, Spaceballs last night. Oh, shit. That's Fuck, a man. lineup right there. Right? Yeah. My buddy went. Him and his girlfriend. And I was like, well, the reason I was asking is that Georgetown always has a horror fest towards October, and they mm-hmm. usually invite people from the uh, convent, the horror convention that's going to be in Louisville. Okay, cool. And I almost, I almost wonder if they're not going to do it this year, though. They're not going to do it this year. They'll, they'll still do the movies and stuff, but they ain't going to have like. <laughs> well, I, that's how I met. Um, I met Kane Hodder. Did you uh, really? Yeah, I met. Um, fuck the girl that played Laurie Strode in the original Halloween. Why am I not? Jamie Lee Curtis? Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. Mm. Um, and then I met. Who's that famous woman that played that part in the Halloween movie? Uh, there was a, the chick that played Darcy on. Um, Mary with Yeah, mm-hmm. she was in a I'm... horror movie. And uh, I met her. Really? Yeah. I heard so. she's a nice person. Everybody I've met so far. Oh, and we met First Jason. That one cracks you up. He calls himself First Jason because he played the kid that drowned in the lake. He was the first Jason. You're right. And he calls so he calls himself First Jason. He has a band called First Jason. And they played and every song he started it out with, I'm First Jason. This band is First Jason. Yeah. And like it was just the, the One, most two, awkward three, situation. Four. Yeah. <laughs> first Jason. This is the most awkward fucking shit. <laughs> now you gotta milk it for what it's worth, kid. That's true. If you I can't milk it at the thing. beginning, but like, like literally every song at the end of it, everybody was just like, Oh yeah, I think he was first Jason. He was. He was. Well, Ren and Stimpy is coming back, and it's going to be coming to Comedy Central, uh, along with, uh, as you, we know, that uh, Beavis and Butthead. Um, they're doing a Daria, but it's her her one friend who's in college. Is that on Spotify or something? Oh no, Apple Music. I'm going to oh, listen okay. to some first Jason. Oh, oh God, Jody, Jody is the uh, <laughs> the uh, spinoff from Daria that we're getting. Um, and then uh, Clone mm-hmm. High. They're bringing back Clone High uh, with uh, Boyd and Chris Miller, which a I lot would. of people uh, don't ideas. remember Clone High. Uh, really? Wow. I don't think there's a lot. Okay, let's do. I know that those two that we would be asking are a bad segment to ask. But class, do you remember Clone High? Mm-mm. Nope. He's too busy getting pussy. That's true. Well, what year was that? Because I remember Daria. Uh, I think, was I, was, I think early Clone 2000, High right? Yeah, I was in high school nah, when I came nah, out. I don't know about that. Kennedy, Clone High? Nope. nope. I, I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew. I remember Daria. <laughs> well, we everyone talked about Daria, Daria because before. she was part of Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, I remember Daria. So was she fucking was on Hank for like Hill. five seasons, right? Hank Hill was a spinoff from fucking Beavis and Butthead. But I don't remember all the shit that was like. Hank Hill was. They, just, they, they had characters that were kind of like that. No, 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 no. It was literally a fucking spinoff from Beavis and Butthead. No, it wasn't. Oh, it was. Oh, my God. Look it up. 
He sounded he the sounded exact the same, but he, he looked was, like he sounded like the gym teacher, right? That was it. But no, no he sounded the like neighbor. the next door neighbor that had the yeah. RV. Yeah, yeah, like, but he looked different. He was like yeah. fat. He had like a fisherman's like yeah. round hat. That wasn't Hank Hill. And no, it just sounded like him. And but I don't know if that was his name, wife. but he was like basically the same type of character. He called his wife mother, like hey mother, like something like that, right? Like he had a weird name for his wife. Damn it, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you. But Aeon Flux. Like I remember like all that shit. Like that was liquid television. There was, yeah, liquid television would come on like or you know, that's what I don't know. MTV. And the Max, you had the Max. That was in the good old days. Yeah. yeah. yeah the Max, you had like the fucking state was Didn't, on like oh, around that time. The state. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> We're gonna go to the zoo and watch the monkeys do it. I want to dip my balls in it. <laughs> Chicken sandwich, Carl. That <laughs> was some good shit, man. I tried to. Uh, Stacy is a huge like Reno nine one one, and I was like telling her, I was like, you realize all these guys came from the state, and right. so we tried watching, it and she's like, I just can't get into it. So it's like, God, it's wait, what? Same How? fucking people, all of them. The but same right. fucking sense of humor, too. I know. She just she couldn't get into it. Not sure why. Did I ever show you my uh, Reno 911 Halloween picture I won? Uh, Were you dangle? Uh, uh, I don't know. You don't know. Uh, how, fu- how, how the fuck do you not know what you dressed up as? <laughs> well, I dressed up like as that type of uh, cop. He but dressed up as remember. Dangle, but you he just was like, da- uh, If you're going to be anybody, you'd be Dangle with the short shorts and like the white boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here. Just do this. Just send it to me, and I'll put it up on the for the ones watching it. Oh, okay. That was uh, yeah. He was, yeah, he was hey, Dangle. <laughs> <laughs> send me that right. photo, and I'll add it up to the the live show so that I will. I is. will. That's I, I got two of them, so you can't really see that one. But yeah, it's in the, all right. Uh, put them up there. You got it, Doctor. Uh, I, and I know uh, obviously, Class and uh, Kennedy were big fans of the movie Mimic. That's getting a TV reboot. Um, God, I remember the horrible fucking box art for that movie. <laughs> came out in ninety seven Came out in ninety seven with uh what uh Mira Savino who's Savino, really yeah. done anything. Mm. No, she was a Stuber. She wasn't Stuber? Like, yeah, you she was watched that movie? Yeah, I was bored. I thought it was Obviously. funny. Wasn't... You're like, what's Batista doing right now? No, oh, shitty action movie is all right. I wouldn't even say it was an action movie. <laughs> Uh, if you don't remember what Mimic is, it centers on a genetically engineered insects who evolve and develop the ability to mimic their human prey. So, like, she starts seeing, like, people... What the fuck was up with that timeline where it was, like, the faculty and the Mimic? A good movie, though. But the faculty is really just, uh... What's the... Aliens. Uh, no, not, not aliens. Uh, invasion of the Body Snatchers is really... It's an updated but, version of that. But there was a See, lot of movies through that time that was, like, that same shit. I don't remember the, the bugs mimicking people in Mimic. That's the funny thing. Yeah, she would like remember she'd see somebody following her, and it was the fucking bugs, like yeah, but shadowish what, person. Yeah, no, they, <laughs> but I don't think they pretended like they were actual like in human disguise. We never, they just was like, wasn't one like in a trench coat or something like that? Yeah, that's that? what I'm thinking of is the, yeah. the trench coaty looking guy. Now let me say, I watched Mimic once. Like I'm did not need yeah, to me see too. anymore. So whatever happened in that movie. No clue. Like you could be explaining okay. a scene, and all I remember is a subway, and she feeling scared, and the the the, the trench coat guy. That's about it. Okay, here's two things I remember. It one, they show a kid getting murdered, like a fat kid and the skinny white kid get murdered. Murder death. And I was kid. watching it. Uh, yeah, MDK all fucking day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he, he like I remember that watching in the movie theater. Oh Jesus Christ! They really didn't hold back on that one. And two, the ending was she had to kill the queen because once she killed the queen, they all the, all the males died. I remember Carl, uh, Carl Winslow's yeah. in this movie. Josh Brolin is in this movie. Damn, Josh Brolin. Uh, 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 Thanos. Oh, oh shit, God. they did they did two sequels. What the fuck? I thought they did four. I thought they did three. No, it's the Mimic movie. Two on a pair of direct video sequels: 2001 Mimic Two and 2003 Mimic Three Sentinel. Mimic Two, the Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> wasn't the, that wasn't awesome. that the, what, what year did Species come out? Well, that was the same time run, wasn't yeah, it? Nah, oh, I think Species was ninety five. I remember Species. I remember that. I did see that movie. 
Just well, get, basically, just get naked. He got, not, he not got excited because he actually we said a movie and he knew it. <laughs> wait, wait, I can join in, guys. I know this one. <laughs> that bitch is only famous for like two movies. That one and the one she did with Jean Claude Van Damme, where he just dicks her down. <laughs> I mean, so not. you kind of see why she was famous. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> movie was Ford? Uh, Bloodsport. Well, it wasn't blood. No, this was after, way after Bloodsport. I'm trying to think what it was. She, I think she was like a scientist or something. But like it was just basically the whole movie is like him trying to fuck her. No. That was it? Well, uh, the company Big Potato is releasing an MTV the Throwback Music Party game. So anybody remembers everything about MTV when they were actually airing music videos twenty four seven. I used to watch Degrassi on there like a long time ago. Something about a girl saying a boot. Huh. That's a uh, that's a Kevin Smith uh, reference. Yeah, I think it was in. Mall- I used to like uh, Mall Rats. I think it's uh, Mall Rats where they or no, it was a chasing Amy or Mall Rats where they make that reference. About what? <laughs> something about a. I think it was uh, chasing Amy. I think so. Yeah, but then they say I think they say something about it on Yoga. Host. Like it's Jason Lee. I think is if I can remember correctly is the one who. Made what's the it. What, yeah. what's the, what's the, what's the reference though? Like, what He's talking about the grassy hide. He goes, "There's something about a way a uh, girl says a boot." <laughs> like, that's probably uh chasing amy because in mall rats i don't remember him saying anything like that i, I think I, I think we're right with the yeah chasing amy but you can correct us on the on the chat channel on the youtube <laughs> or anything uh so yeah if you remember a bunch of stuff from back in the day in mtv which probably two of you were probably too young for uh what and- i I used to literally stick a VHS tape in and wait for the music video that I wanted to to pop up on MTV and then hit record so I could later on play all my favorite songs on the same VHS. So, yeah, I don't know why you think like I wouldn't watch MTV when I was a kid. I was, like I watched nothing but MTV. And class was outside playing sports. And being <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitches. So. But I needed a soundtrack while I was uh, while I was doing that, so I would turn on my. Yo, MTV raps or Headbangers Ball. Or... Um, you can, uh, apparently the game is at Target. TRL. Uh, Target for 20 bucks. You want to be the first team to collect an artist card from all eight categories. There's the Brits, award-winning videos, best of Unplug, pop anthems, hip-hop. Nice. Pieces, headbangers, teenage angst, and queens of MTV. So best what you of... need to do is you need to buy this, and we play it at Concave. Oh, shit. Well, I think class would probably be the only good one. You in class, Kennedy, I think. Uh... You know what? Best of Unplugged. Man, this. Joshua, he has no faith in you right now. <laughs> An amazing vinyl. Like, Josh, is awesome. it like just naming songs off the top of your head? I mean, I'm not good at naming songs at the top of my head that people would like, but I know songs from that era, from the 90s, even the 80s, you know, so... I don't know. Maybe we could get So, it. like, he just popped up Nirvana Unplugged. I'd be like, that's my go-to 90s band, Nirvana. If I said President of the United States of America. You're such a anybody... basic white bitch. <laughs> I know who President of <laughs> the United States of America are. I mean, they had Peaches. That was. Didn't they have one more song? Yeah, they had, they had Lush. Lush. Peaches. Uh, 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 she's, she's, she's Luff? No, what is it? Lush Lump. or Glump? Lump. 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 That's what the album is. Yeah. Yep. That, album yeah. was, I, that album was just fucking wow. That was a great Duh. fucking album. Speaking of old music, that fucking cover that they did, they did a couple covers in Umbrella Academy. Does Kennedy, wait, stop good. for a second. Does Kennedy's video look like he's recording it off the TV of himself? <laughs> <laughs> like, go ahead and talk. It just, it's so whited out. It's weird. Please, I'm sorry. I have a daylight bulb in this bedroom, so <laughs> it is. But it brave. also is like it's slanted. It looks like you were just like, let me record myself <laughs> talking off of the camera. I'm sorry, I'm being an ass. So go anyways, ahead. um, <laughs> the uh, songs that they were doing on Umbrella Academy were really good. I'd say way better than uh, if anybody has watched the Old Guard. Oh my God, the Old Guard! They were trying way too much new music, and it just not fit that. Uh, which is a good movie if you've not seen it. I can't believe they played the Dead South on there. Like, I don't know who the Dead South are. Uh, episode six. It was the um, fuck. I can't name the think of the name of the song, but they uh, they played the Dead South on there, and it was like surprising. Um, it was a it's a super like local band, like not to Louisville per se, but they do come play in Louisville quite often. Um, I'll po- I'll post the song in the group. But, okay. Did um, you enjoy uh, Umbrella? I know uh, Joshua hates to watch anything. Dude, super. That last dude. that last fucking five seconds, man. 
Oh, well, that, I mean, that is kind of connected to the, the comics, too. Where? Because yeah, I read all the volumes told me to, to read. Have you read Oblivion Hotel? Or Hotel no. Oblivion, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's no, where, that's that where that specific group gets introduced. Don't you okay. forget it is true. I no, get, no, I'm just, I'm just shaking my head at the simple fact that he's like, I read all of them. Did you read Hotel Oblivion? I did not read that one. <laughs> you didn't read all of them. <laughs> I, no, I, I didn't say I read all of them. I said I read the ones that he told me to read. Now, I, I will point out in the comics, they, um, a certain character that shows up at the end is not a part of that. As far as we know, when they get introduced in the comics, they're is not in that group. But they did a uh, they did a co- they did a cover of uh, Wicked Games. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. No, I I thought the soundtrack was was very. I mean, there was another like one. The, the previous uh, what was, the first one was really good too. What was the song where they? Uh, fuck, I'm trying to think of the name of it. But it's talking about um, they were all in love with dying. They were doing it in oh, Texas. Oh, yeah, that was the uh, – shit. I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, they, they redid that song, and it was really good. It was remixed. I mean, it was the same group. Right, right. It yeah. was the same band, but it was yeah. like a remix. It was – I liked it. I thought, I thought it was good. Joshua, yeah, you need to definitely watch uh, Umbrella Academy season. Well, when I'm done with uh, Harley Quinn, which I got like the last three episodes uh, – I don't like what they're doing to, uh, or what they did to. Uh, Pe- Pepper kite, by the Butthole Surfers. That's the name of the song. Kite guy, or kite guy, or kite kite guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, kite kite guy, kite man. Kite man, yeah. I don't like what they're doing to him. I don't think it's fair. Well, it happens. You can see the writing on the wall. I know. So. I was just. Mm, I don't know. It's, it's, oh, well, it's, I got like three more episodes. Pretty shit. In, what y'all doing? In hell, I'll be in good company by the Dead Cells. That was. All Did right. Freeze? <laughs> like, what well, fuck? Twitch Prime is now called Prime Gaming. Today, Amazon has rebranded the, the suite of video game focused perks to match the naming convention of its other digital services, such as Prime Video, Prime Reading, uh, the newly named. Wait, I'm sorry. Twitch and uh, Amazon had a deal? Oh, yeah. yeah Amazon, Amazon bought it. Twitch. Yeah, they've been doing it for a few years. Really? Yes. And. The other service just went out of business. Mixer. Mixer, yeah, just went out of business, yeah, and yeah. they like lost Ninja. He's on YouTube now. He's on YouTube, but they had to pay out his fucking contract. Yeah, because he had a contract, and they went down, and it was yeah. He he got paid like twenty five million. I think somebody else made a lot of money for just a month or two that he was on. Yeah, yeah. You know. I can't. Which, I, I, I'm sorry to cut off, but I was confused because I didn't know that because there was a uh, incident that happened with Doctor Disrespect mm-hmm. where. Suppo- this is just rumor, I, but I I was just like bored and I went into this because it was on Twitter. So basically, him, Ninja, and I believe another uh, streamer were all approached by Amazon because Amazon wanted to come up do their own streaming site for gaming. So uh, do you remember like Doctor Disrespect? They they canceled his agreement. They fired him. Yes, uh, Kennedy. Yeah. So the rumor was that they found Twitch found out about this and they were like. Yeah, you're done. We don't want you anymore. But then I got confused because Ninja, once Mixer went down, Ninja did like a, a, a stream on Twitch. So, but the rumor was Amazon was going to do their own thing and they were going to get disrespect Twitch and the, another person, another streamer. But if Amazon owns Twitch already, I don't like that. That's why I'm confused. Yeah, I, I think may, maybe you're catching a little bit of each story or something because. The second that Ninja came off of Mixer, he did a stream on YouTube, and it blew up so much that he decided to stay with YouTube. So, uh, did you hear like with Ninja, they're like, "Oh, he's going to be moving to Hollywood." I'm like, I, I think you underestimate his actual drawing power. To no, dude, average- did you, you know he was on uh, the latest season of The Masked Singer. Like, he's popular. To, for who? Just but like I would tell you this, he is not a household name. Like Chris Class is not looking for ninja videos. No, but a bit of like Chris does. Class doesn't. I, but he doesn't play Fortnite though. Was like, that that's the only game? Like, do you? And he a gamer? Yeah. Oh, Doc, you fucked. 
<laughs> Your logic got shot out the yeah, window. Yeah, but, but no, it's, it, it's just like I don't know. I, I've never seen them. I, I feel like Ninja is the same thing as like when they made the Warcraft movie, and they're like, "There's so many WoW players, so this movie's gonna make so much money." And then it came out, and it was a piece of shit. And the majority of people are like, "I don't know where the what this fucking movie is. It's a mess. They keep jumping to different locations that make no sense at all." And all the WoW people are like, "But there's so much history in it. But wait till the next and second and third movie." And I'm like, "No." Yeah, but even the shit. world of Warcraft people didn't like that movie. I bet that movie would have been good if it not hit the production floor. I mean, I have no idea who the guy is. If I saw him walking down the street, I'd have no idea who he is. Thank yeah, you. but like Doc Thank said, he would. You, Kennedy, Doc said, "Oh, he he's looking at ninja videos," and I'm like, "He doesn't play Fortnite, and that's all Ninja does is play Fortnite, right?" I don't play Fortnite. now. I don't know who Ninja is? Ninja did a lot more before that. He did Skyrim oh. run-throughs okay. and shit like that. And... All right, but Fortnite was his bread and butter, right or wrong? I would say yes with the younger audience for sure. All right, that's what's got him popular. But like, yeah, like the best part was uh, they asked Shannon Sharp, like, "Do you know what esports is?" He's like, "I know who Ninja is." <laughs> Wait, who? Who did they ask? Shannon Sharp said that. Sharp. Yeah, he's like, "I know who Ninja is." <laughs> oh, be quiet, you hater! <laughs> hey guys, uh, have you played the game Fall Guys yet? I saw that today. Somebody was playing that on my PlayStation. Is that the one with the like the little people and you run to the end of the maze? It's kind of if you if you remember the uh, show uh, MX uh, MXC, yes, or uh, Takashi's Castle, which is what it's it really was, and then redubbed. Takashi Six Mex- Nine had a game show. No, not <laughs> <laughs> but MXC, um, if you remember it from the G Four days and stuff like that, uh, was, college dorm. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I think all of us should remember it, right? Yeah, I was watching some last night on a Tubi, Tubi TV or something like a Tubi. It's the app. This shit holds up. That's it damn it, class. Like, you're the reason that there's all these free fucking streaming apps out there. <laughs> <laughs> they make them all for people like you. <laughs> but it is, Dude. It, it's kind of the game is. It really feels like it's based upon this. Is you're, you're like you start off with like fifty or something little characters. Everyone playing on like a battle royale. Yeah, I saw videos of it today. Competition, and you just slowly are being all eliminated. Until the one person can grab the thing, and there's like three or four different things. Damn. Yeah, the is video that I watched. That... Go, ahead. Go ahead, buddy. I'm sorry. No, I was just gonna say I heard uh, two of my friends. They were talking about a, a free game on PlayStation. It's like yeah, free, it's free one of the the PS4 uh, right now free games. Um, which I got I'd love to play my, that. Uh, I don't have a PlayStation I'm, anymore. I charge up my my controller since I don't play PlayStation that often. Um, but uh, and it, but also it was uh, racked up two million players in the stream just after five days, so it is uh, blowing Ooh. up pretty big right now. Hmm. So if you've not played it, go play it. I think it's just going to be a viral thing, and it'll be done. Uh, it'll like burn out know, quick. People still playing fucking Rocket League, so I don't understand that. Dude, Doritos door. What was it called? Doritos Dash. There's some kind of free the game. free game from Burger King. Yeah, <laughs> and, no, it was a Doritos game. It was wasn't it? It was like something Dash. Something Dorito oh, Mad Burger Dash King. or something. Like maybe I it was Burger I, King. I think I remember it, but Burger. I think Burger King's the one that released the disc. Oh, maybe that's Pepsi what it was. Ha- had one, but it wasn't released here. It was released in Japan. It was like, no, Pepsi I'm Man. Pretty, I'm pretty well, sure. When you're talking about those, Chipotle, if you uh, order the new uh, Tony Hawk burrito, you get early access to the game. A oh, my God, Chipotle, for- just never, to get that? I, what the fuck? Like, I, I expected better from Chipotle. Like, but it, it's like the first 2000, so it may already be uh, unavailable. Uh, Did you get the uh, access code I, to I, early? Crash uh, Course. The name of the game was called Crash Course. It was a Doritos game. Listen, who the fuck? Did you just, how did you I find mean out cut about you that? Doc, like, what was that? where's the advertisement for that? When does that start? It, it started already, but there's been yeah. no advertisement it, at all. Yeah, I it was, on an article. It was in the same advertisement stream as the 83 years of free Netflix. Oh, yeah, I never saw that. Yeah, one. <laughs> yeah so it's like... There's, a social, there's a social media platform that we are missing out on. We don't know what it is, but it's out there. Uh, yes, yeah, Chipotle has a new Tony Hawk burrito and can get you early access to his new game. Um, it will come with... It'll be, the first 2,000 customers to order the new Tony Hawk burrito on their mobile app or through the website receive a code via email it allows you to access the demo to the version of uh pro skater one and two that you can be able to play on the playstation 4 xbox One. i'm excited for the uh, the burrito is made with brown rice black bean oh my god chicken tamale red chili salsa guac yep but so, it tastes like crap it sounds totally cool. sucks sounds yeah. cool. 
first of all, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Second of all, that doesn't sound like a good burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you? He, <laughs> Tell you me guys miss... Up and saying it's... He's funny. telling me to shut up because I said Chipotle stuff. Oh. You guys miss the old promotions. Yeah. Like, it, like, do you remember back in the day when you got a Pepsi bottle, you took the cap off and you could either win mm-hmm. or it was like buy one, get one free sodas. Um, even Pepsi did a thing for a while where if you collected the letters and spelt out a word, you won mm-hmm. a prize. Dude, I had... I had all of the word or all the letters for Schwarzenegger except for one, and the hard think, R, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're a heathen. Anyways, <laughs> no, it was W. They wouldn't print the W. They only printed <laughs> one out of like five thousand or something like that. It had a W on it. So, and this was before the days of eBay and stuff, so you couldn't buy. Just like go buy the letter. Racism. <laughs> wow, I've never seen Doc laugh so joyfully. But just for the fact that I heard it the same time you did, and then you commented <laughs> on it, and I was like, "We're thinking alike." I'm right there with him. <laughs> I almost asked him to say that again, but I was like, "I don't want to go there." We but, all we all heard it. I was like, <laughs> That's well, weird, right? Like, he just has a granddaughter that was just born, and they put the full name. Like, it's his name and Pratt's name. So, it's Pratt Schwarzenegger? I think it's Schwarzenegger Pratt. <laughs> poor kid. Like, I'm like, why would you do that to that poor child? She has four is, names. Is it a girl? It's a girl. It's some, I think it's Annalise something Schwarzenegger Pratt. I know it starts with an A. Oh and I was just like, why would you do that to the kid? Like, How are you going to fill in an application? <laughs> like, there's a limited amount of places you can put words on. Anyways, I think it's ASWP. To... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I think with what you're talking about, Kennedy, with the uh, spelling out thing, or just uh, I think the McDonald's game. Yeah, the old Monopoly one. Yeah, that is – they they just kind of went away from all that. Because so it I was more of now, like, you go and put in a code, the, and then you see – The fix was in on that shit? Yeah. You see that documentary, right? Yeah, that was crazy. But I just, I don't know, it, it felt like a di- different <laughs> atmosphere back then. Cool so story, bro. <laughs> I know. <it's> like- <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that was crazy. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm blowing you off and moving forward with my story. Go ahead, get yeah, I've missed Kennedy I'm, I'm on this show. <laughs> just saying that, like, it feels like a, a different atmosphere anymore. Like, I don't even get, I don't give a shit about any giveaways anymore, you know? Nah. I think Mountain Dew still like does a good job with giveaways. Yeah, there there'll be some Halo thing coming. Up. Uh, I mean, Mount- Overwatch, they've had like Doritos or something where I you can get some XP. I want a special say. edition of uh, Halo Four off of Mountain Dew. Damn, I know, like Got they were giving somewhere. away like good fucking uh, uh, D, uh, like equipment for Final Fantasy VII remakes. So I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, here at the Fracking Nerds, we're talking about giving away uh, some sketch covers. <laughs> At some point, but we just need to figure out a way to go about doing that. Well, how do, you, do you have a sketch cover <laughs> that you can? I mean, I'll come up with one. I'll buy one. I don't know. Okay, let's come up with a game, and then I'll come up with some sketch cover. So, <laughs> I'll try to look at that. Transition. We have to figure out a way that they can interact and. Right, right. Hmm. Are they on Facebook? I don't know. I never hear you plug. Yeah, I guess you do plug social media at the end. Don't you? <laughs> That's the very last thing. Never do anything. On the show. <laughs> Never. Class, I was just saying you need a Facebook page. Just you're like you don't even have to have anything on it. You can keep it private, but just so you can be in the fracking nerds fucking message chat. Well, he was. Oh. Or or do we need to do Discord and just have that? Off? I voted Discord, but you blew that off. No, I didn't. Discord. Blow anything off. He I did not. What his name was or what he said. I put my lips on. I did not blow off anything. Give him a goose next, AJ. That's right. <laughs> I mean, why not just like, like sexual a text. innuendos today? Like, it's like What's... me with the last pull. Oh, he's jerking guys off. I like, can't do uh, it because I'm going to be doing the last pull. Yeah, it's yeah, like you're jerk, I'm not, jerking I'm somebody not, off at the end there. No, I've always said I got to do my last pull at nine o'clock for like the last year. Now all of a sudden it's a gate. It's me jerking someone off. Like, do you bring your truck with you? Yes, no. that's what I pull. I pull trucks. No, you pull carts. You pull carts. No. Trucks. They're called Carts. trucks. Carts in your in your birthday <laughs> Shit. pillows. He pulls pillows. trains. <laughs> Stop lying. <laughs> well, Jeez. Brock Steady, as we talked about earlier, is working on a Suicide Squad game. Um, okay, so it is Rock Steady, not Rockstar. Yes. They've uh, they've uh, 
<laughs> They've uh, yep. announced ahead of the August 22nd event that is coming up with now Jason <laughs> Momoa is not going to be attending. So people are thinking Aquaman 2 may not be happening. DC um, fandom. Oh, he's not att- maybe he's not attending because, you know, he doesn't want to catch COVID or anything. Well, no, they're not. They're live. They're just doing the video thing. They're just going to be zooming like we do. What do you want? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So hey, so I could be excited about a, the sassiest fucking cat. <laughs> the there's fuck speculation out. Aquaman 2 is not going to happen because he's not showing up. That's, that's what people are saying. I don't know. Nah, that, 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 movie movie, made, that movie made too much money. Yeah, it made a yeah. bill. So. Yeah, and I think he likes that character, so I don't think he's got a problem. I think he liked his character in Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, that character was already getting, getting killed <laughs> off if it was written in the book. Right. So going to happen. Uh, but I could get excited for a Rocksteady Suicide Squad game if they do it like they did Arkham. But do you think you have to you play with multiple people, though, right? So are you they going to do it like kind of like the Avengers game that's coming out where you, you could – Why are we talking – you talk entirely too much about the abomination that's going to be that Avengers game. You are entirely too excited for a game that's going to fucking flop, as Joshua likes to say. You got to emphasize the L-O. Wait, wait, wait. You say, you think I'm excited by that shit? You talk thing? about it a lot for – Well, it's the big game that's coming out. I'm sorry. We, we – supposed to be talking about skyrim version 8 coming out or something like that or Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. guys you missed it a second ago i was talking to doc and there's a meme on facebook that says do you feel old yet skyrim was released nine years ago seven years ago four years ago three years ago <laughs> <laughs> it's like skyrim gta 5 final fantasy 7 um what's what's Minecraft. the beef with, uh, what's the beef with uh, avengers you think it's not going to be any good it's gonna it doesn't be look good. Yeah, it it doesn't doesn't look really? Look good. The, 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 okay. Whoever did so the character designs. There's a common it. thread with all video games. They're coming to show with their best of the best video. It doesn't mean the video game's gonna match up with it, but the videos almost always look good. And you can, uh-huh. have, you know, you you've seen that. This one didn't look good. <laughs> like they came to really? the table. They came to the table with like somebody put their computer on low low res settings. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, when, really? when they Not released the video, somebody put the meme out of from Spaceballs. Spaceballs. Like, you, <laughs> you <laughs> captured their stunt <laughs> doubles. Stunt doubles. <laughs> and uh, Captain America. Yo, it looks the like the, the it looks like America the dollar tr- the Dollar Tree version of. Uh, uh, of the Avengers. Well, like, yeah, and I understand that. So that way, like, you know, they're not paying the actors for that. Well, you don't have to make, but at least make them closer to maybe the comic book versions of this. That's a good point. Do they not look anything? No, man, they look like well, stunt doubles. Like, do we, from afar, they look okay. But when they get close, you're like, ooh, that's not do Black Widow. Did we ever oh. hear anything What's, that happened with the Tony, uh, uh, the Princess Robert, Downey, Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark lawsuit thing? With the uh, animated Avengers show? Yeah, I'm wondering if that may have some issue in it, why they didn't no. try to copy any personalities. Because the same guy who does the voice for um, Tony Stark is the guy doing the voice in the game. Oh, no, no, but remember Robert Downey Jr. was suing them because they he said that they used his likeness without his permission. But Tony Stark always looked like that. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's what I'm wondering if maybe that's why they didn't put it in the game, just to avoid any kind of, oh, this kind of looks like me situation. The biggest thing that I've heard people complaining about now is the Spider-Man only Sony exclusive. People are feeling like, "Hey, you've taken a, a, a an entire taken character sense. and now prevented anybody that's playing on a PC, playing on a Switch, if it comes out for the Switch, plays for the Xbox, uh, not going to have Spider-Man." And Spider-Man. They've been doing that the the Spider-Man games on Sony anyway. So what do they expect? But I know, but th- that's that's an exclusive to the whole system not taking a major character and saying you can't have it unless you go spend sony money somebody's getting yelled at no. here we, we had issues I don't think... doc had to... sorry we're running late because everything i'm went... getting oh. chewed out right now doc sorry <laughs> yeah, i don't hear anything <laughs> no it's the look that you could see on his face is that he was getting yelled at <laughs> All right, let's keep moving on. The Walking Dead has went in a trademark battle over the Toking Dead comic book. I don't know if any of you all have read the Toking Dead, but it's, uh, it's combining, uh, combining the utilize of, uh, of cannabis as a medical benefit in the comic and zombies. And I guess they were working on... Uh, <laughs> Can you start all over? <laughs> <I wasn't paying laughs> were you all not listening? <laughs> no. 
I'm just I heard kidding. something. The, the benefits of weed in The Walking yeah. Dead. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. So the the comic is called The Talking Dead, and they were working on merchandising, including clothing uh, and a bunch of other things. Now, uh, been hit with a cease and desist message from AMC and The Walking Dead show, and Robert Kirkman has won. So they cannot continue. They cannot do merchandise because it's too close to The Walking Dead. But I think they're still going to continue on doing. Um, where's he going? He's going somewhere else. Um, he's going to be uh, still doing the comic. If anybody's ever read The Talking Dead, which I'm sorry if I see a comic named The Talking Dead, not going to buy it. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, man. Yeah, me neither. Like, that's <laughs> <was> weird. Gonna... <laughs> You're getting me in trouble, Doc. It's been two and a half fucking hours, man. We'll wrap it up. <laughs> Anybody listening has only probably heard an hour and a half of the show. So just, just understand that we had major, major problems, and I'm now I'm on my laptop just trying to make the show work. And the picture looks really clear, Doc. It actually looks way more clear than Thank you. it has on the other thing. Yes, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> they have to retire the Mac. I got to definitely transfer shit over if I'm doing that. All righty. <laughs> Anyway, uh, well, we'll skip Nerds of the Roundtable this week since people are getting oh. into that. And do, or do we want to go? Do, do it, Rob. No, I'm in I trouble don't, now. I do it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Might as well, man. We're fine. We're the, the, talk about, uh, the discussion we're going to do for this week, um, I don't have the music because it's on the Mac, um, is um, what is a movie that you just don't understand the popularity of? And let's start off with Kennedy. He brought it up earlier, Goonies. I fucking hate that movie. Why do you hate Goonies? What is wrong with I, Goonies? It just, well, I don't know. I didn't enjoy it. Um, I don't know if it was the style or if it wasn't the, the, like I didn't get the humor enough or something, but I just didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was, I don't know. Everybody talks to it, everybody thinks it's the greatest fucking movie, but I'm just kind of like, nah, truffle truffle, I mean, it's, ha, it's ha, ha, ha. Greatest like, movie, but it's probably one of the best, like, kid buddy films see if you were to say that for me i would say it was um fuck the sandlot like that's i can't stand the sandlot i don't understand see, that'd be a movie that i don't understand it's like i i haven't seen either what about license to drive when i remember that piece of shit <laughs> was that a like, dollar who, tree movie who was fighting for license to drive i don't know i don't know i was trying that's to think of like the two quarries right the two quarries are in it yeah and there was <laughs> I'm trying the to think of movies I've seen. <laughs> the two Corey movie that's good is fucking Lost Boys. Yes, I agree with that. Uh, I haven't seen that. Is, um, you haven't seen the Lost Boys? He's got no. a Oh my God, class, man. Like, <laughs> I like that. I'll have assignments. Yeah. So tonight, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Doc, o- Doc, on the Plex server, just make a class file. <laughs> I know, I, I should. Like, this is movies that you need to watch. Die Hard's on Plex. <laughs> so okay, you know. okay. I'll watch that tonight. I'll watch it as soon as we get off. All right. I'll watch it. There you go. Enjoy it. It's very good. Oh, well. Very Anyways, good. You start learning catchphrases you didn't even know that you needed to know. So. I, I, yippee-ki-yay, cowboy. Or what is it? Yippee-ki-yay, yippee motherfucker. 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 Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Jesus all right. I got it. Christ, man. Give, give me a little bit. Give me a little bit of time. Plus, right. since, uh, you are the uh, film connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> Which film do you not understand the popularity of? Um... I'm going to go with uh, hey, the Harry Potter movies. I, I tried watching the first so one. Uh, no, I oh, I'm sorry, you. man. <laughs> I watched the first one, and it was like my uh, wife like, read them all. And, uh, They're good books. She, she loved the books, and then she was like, oh, let's watch it. So I was like, all right, let's, let's check it out. I won't read unless it's like a fucking comic book. And, um, yeah, I was like, this is the biggest thing of dog shit I'd ever seen, man. I, I couldn't. And there's like 15 other more that we, I, I cut it off. I tapped out at one. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I'm with you, class. It took me forever to get through them. I finally watched all eight, and I'm still just like, why are people all about this shit? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I like the Harry Potter movies. Um, I haven't given them a chance. So they, it's like, go, I'm sorry, go ahead, bud. No, I said I, I, I like the movies. It's when they split up the last movie uh, yeah. because I, rem, like, I remember reading the book. And as I was sitting there watching it, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, this is the part of the book where they, they camp 
and complain to each other. And I was like, this is, no, this is a bad part to keep in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm ready to go to where they go to the castle and have this huge battle, which didn't pay off. I will tell you that they were murdering motherfuckers, like marking everybody out in in the fucking books. But in the movie, they're like, we gotta keep everybody nice. Not everybody needs to die. What, what year was the first one made? Because like when they're flying around on the brooms playing like broom soccer or whatever, <laughs> that shit looks so fucking stupid, man. When it's you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was like, like 2001, 2001, right? 3, 2000. Yeah, it was somewhere. Man, there. It was, was like a low budget or something. 2001 was the first one. Yeah, it ah, didn't look good at all. It looked stupid. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't the know. production Joshua. value went up along the way, but the, the okay. story did not. Well, yeah. I, so I guess if yeah, they Terry took Potter Harry Potter. Potter away from you. I guess the Twilight movies. Well, I mean, but that's not. That's that's not selling to you. That's it's a the last time. Twilight movie was fucking amazing until you found out that it was a lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what the fuck. I, <laughs> like I I have the, the distinct fucking displeasure of seeing that movie with my best female friend and then the last two of my girlfriend at the time. And I remember sitting in the movie theater watching this cool fucking action sequence going, right? Holy he fucking shit. ripped his head off, and, and I'm just like, like, what? Oh. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it just pans out to an eye, and she's like. Oh, uh, and you hear, I literally did this, and I swear to God, I, you could, I, the girlfriend will vouch for me. I go, what the fuck was that? And everybody in the movie theater starts laughing. And I'm just like, wait, this bullshit. She literally goes, this is what's going to happen if you do this. And I was like, what? And oh, apparently, that was that's, they, Kendrick, wasn't it? They could see that. No, it was because no. she wasn't a vampire. Ooh. She was just an annoying friend. She's so, in it. Yeah, it's, yeah. A dark, it's the dark-haired she's, girl. She, she's like an annoying friend. She's not even like it. It's funny. Like out of everybody in that movie franchise, she's the like the one that did better with the acting career choices. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like in the book, they don't. They had to add that in because that wasn't in the book. So, so you guys actually watched all the movies. I had, uh, I had a teenage daughter I had at the time. To. <laughs> like I watched the first film and when she w- first of all someone needed to tell the Asian kid he was gay. He just did not know. And then <laughs> like he's like super like hey, do you want to go out and hang out and do things? And I'm like you are gay. You're not hitting on her. Second, when she sounds like I need to watch Twilight. She walks in to that biology room or something, and the fan is blowing your hair, and (laughs) like, and Edward has a vampire orgasm. Like he's holding in his teeth. He's like, "Oh my god, I'm just like." No, they don't have they don't have fangs. So I know, but it just like he almost just spewed everywhere. How Uh, bad that. That's your complaint with the first one. The first one. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. That Kristen Stewart keeps blinking. She could fucking blink so fast to cool off Josh Joshua's room. No, (laughs) continue on with that movie. Is she's at least they 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 remember she nearly gets raped Uh by five guys just walking around there, and her dad is like (laughs) the sheriff of this little podunk town in Portland or something like that. So didn't Edward like show up and, ch- and save? She her? wasn't. In, she wasn't. No, they. He was the uh, sheriff for Forks. They went to Portland. Jesus Christ! He knows the fucking location. Uh, but no. But when she shows up, <laughs> sees her dad. Does she tell him about the five rapist assholes? No. No, Dad. Nothing. Everything's good. Then they play fucking baseball. All right. That's when I was done. I'm like, no. This. This is a fucking shitty movie. And you I, know, and the, I watched the riff tracks, and I, I just like this is such a bad movie. I can't. You I know, can't Doc. Play. In all fairness, it wasn't made for your demographic. You I know, know it wasn't. <laughs> but you know what? The best part was too, because when I went, I, I swear to God, I, I've only seen these movies one time. I never, I didn't see the one before uh, the final one. I, I was spared that one. But I remember the first one, and when uh, they show Edward for the first time, all the girls go, "Oh my God!" And you hear me go, "He's not real. He doesn't love you." <laughs> but it's also it's like oh it's a 90 year old man sitting in a 7 15 16 year old room stalking her That's it's pedo- it creepy. is pedophilia yeah, i have always uh, said that it's straight pedophilia what? he what's that shit with the fucking because yeah, he's werewolf. like 90 and he's pursuing her he was what's supposed that? to die in 1915 i believe it was but what's, he got the guy who's playing batman yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be Robert 90? Pattinson. No, yeah. it's not like legit in the movie. Well, it's like 90. What, what's the shit? Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the werewolf. The werewolf is like 
Jacob. Sleep. Jacob. He, he wants to bang her, but then she loves Edward. So what does he do? He, oh, he, I'm gonna fuck your daughter. Like, yes, he imprints I, I on the that, daughter and something like that. I make that, that right? joke all the time, and Brandy gets so mad when I say that. Like, it just was the bad. And then the werewolf. Just like, oh, Jesus Christ. You know, See, Brandy you know loves the books, but she says the movies were straight garbage. Like she says, what the is books are actually- bad is they made a book based upon fan fiction Shit. of Twilight. They get turned into a movie and that became a franchise and we're talking about 50 shades of gray that was a fan fiction of twilight that she just turned changed some names and now we have oh really it. yes wow and they all laugh into the fucking bank bro they, that's true they are making that money huh. stephanie you know what? myers and that other lady ain't never got to work again like that, fuck I, that 50 I, shades fucking... of gray it's Go fan ahead. fiction it's fan fiction Fucking those ladies never got to work again. Fucking uh, <laughs> right, right, Rollins. Right. How, how old your kid, Kennedy? Uh, well, okay. So at the time, oh, I was man. married to a woman, and her daughter was oh, 16. as opposed to a fucking man. Like, I, <laughs> I, I like it clarified. <laughs> thanks, but thanks what? for reasserting that. You don't know my life. No. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't judging. <laughs> um, I'm but I, I was married to a day. woman who had a daughter that was 16. So it was what? it was my stepdaughter. I took her to the movies to see them all. And then she called you Edward, right? To see Fifty Shades of Grey? No. Oh! Okay, I was like, whoa. Okay, okay. No, Fifty Shades of Grey, though, has has contributed to one of my favorite TikTok videos of all time. Because evidently, I I haven't seen the movie... But there's a there's evidently a scene in it where she's like in the shower with him, and she goes to turn around, and he grabs her by the neck, and he jerks her back in, and the guy goes jerks her back, and he goosenecks her. <laughs> <laughs> but um, evidently, so this guy on TikTok, he's like married to this black woman, and he's like, "Let's see if this works with a woman of color," and he turns around, <laughs> he goes to do it to her, and she beats the shit out of him. <laughs> Once again, I have to on show on. the video to you. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually a really funny concept. Well, guys, the movie <laughs> that I don't understand the fandom for or the appeal mm. of is the Dune movie. Now they're making a, uh, like, they're working on another one with. Jason no, it's Mo. supposed to I be don't... like a prequel. Oh, was... I'm super excited now. Was Dune good? Was, good? Hold on. was <laughs> Dune good or was it just a cult film? Because Rocky Horror is not good, but, but it's a I cult hear, film. Like, there's a lot of like some people are like, oh, the Dune books are amazing. I love reading Dune in the movie, and I'm just like, I can't. And I will <laughs> tell you, it is mostly the people that are typical D and D people. So I'm surprised, Kennedy, you haven't jumped into it. I like no, I don't, the, I don't, I don't like Dune. So I don't, I, don't, I don't understand the Dune. And then people are like, we're so excited. Jason Momoa is going to be it. And this person, gonna, I'm like, I don't give up. Nobody cares. The like, Patrick Stewart uh, fucking Bane voice. That's the new, instead of Joshua. Hey, <laughs> Joshua Cartman. Not, I like the Patrick not Stewart. Patrick Stewart. It's a, it's a, what's Jimmy it? Stewart. Not Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart. Stewart. You're totally off. No, you it's, sound like Jimmy Stewart. No, it's doing Bane. Doing Bane, you bastard. <laughs> No, it's a uh, uh, Sean Connery. That's oh, okay. Harry. Yeah, that's who uh, Tom Hardy was doing. And then, but yeah. that sounds like Jimmy Stewart. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart. No, I don't fucking know Jimmy Stewart. That sounds like the same thing. <laughs> <thing. laughs> oh, Sean Connery. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. No, I think right. Jimmy Stewart yeah. is like... Jimmy Stewart Doc's, got out. Doc's fucking oh, Mel wow. Blank over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy it's Stewart a- is more like... Well, there's an angel out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, so it just sounds like a stuttering Sean po- uh, Sean, uh, Sean Puffy Combs or whatever his name is. Sean Connery. You throw a man out of a plane before you shoot, or shoot a man before you throw him out of a plane. Anyways, oh, Doc. Why you Doc. call it Two Face, and your name is Two Face. Oh, Doc. you bastard. Doc, brain in the ADHD. Let's go back to your. <laughs> but Doom, no. Oh, I, I, I don't Dragon. understand why people no, are. No, no. I, I have a hard time with all of those um <laughs> alternate world apocalyptic world ones like i didn't like uh i didn't like dune i didn't like water world i didn't like mad max um like mad max I only know. one of those has made multiple sequels and that's mad max there wasn't a sequel to water world there wasn't a sequel to dune and there is now so, and they're making what am i talking about i'm not talking, talking about sequels who's talking about sequels no no i'm just saying like we all picked something that was a uh, sequel based where they have more than one Doc Uh-oh. is picking Dune, and but Dune, Dune, really Dune got was a huge, one movie. There's multiple books in the Dune series. Yeah, but, but either either way, like I didn't, I don't like those. The only one I've even kind of liked was uh, Book of Eli. 
with uh, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington? Who's yeah. blind and he has the Bible and it's in Braille. Spoilers. Right, is, but... that, is that uh, Jimmy Stewart? No. <laughs> is that Bane? No, it's not Bane. No, or your daughter, Barry. Sean Connery? Sean Connery. I don't know. <laughs> Doc's impressions. I like them. They all sound the same. They're, they're all the same. <laughs> and even Clarence. Even. Oh, oh. The show is just. just... <laughs> yeah, yeah we, it's, it's spiraling you, hard. It's, it's my favorite show of all time. Off the rails. Well, then that will, let's bring the show to a close. Uh, Kennedy, uh, how can we learn more about <laughs> you? Uh, right now it's just Facebook and Xbox. That's the, I, I don't have much of a life outside of there. I've got a baby who just turned one. I got another one. It's on the way in October. So that's my life right now. And we're glad you uh, came on the show today. I've missed you, buddy. See you. Yeah. Well, I listened. Okay. So I listened to the last two since I missed them. I listened to them while I'm on the road going from place to place. And uh, when I heard y'all talking a bunch of shit the last two episodes, I was like, you know what? I, I ain't missing this one. <laughs> I said I talk over you all the time, so I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. Because <laughs> I think I oh, did. Oh, by the way, should... Doc, nobody robs a house with a gun. Like, what the Thank fuck? You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They're easily going to go to the house that yes. doesn't post pictures of guns. No, no, I will Thank say you. this. Okay, you post pictures of a gun, and then they know you're not in the house. Guess what they know is sitting in your house unprotected. Your gun doesn't have a gun to shoot them, does it? <laughs> no, it has, <laughs> it, it, has a, it has a safe that it goes into, Doc. <laughs> no, like, but he's not, he's not understanding the point. Is Why do people rob houses? Because they think nobody's in there. And then what happens? Somebody's in there with a gun if and you are, shot. But if you know they have weapons and you're looking to steal weapons, are you just randomly going into a house? Or are you going to the guy who's posting... Is they're they're not, trying to they're, steal guns. People they're not going to find bad guns. people try to steal guns. They're not no, going to find my bad weapons. Bad people just steal. Period. Like, where is this thing where it's like, oh, we're going to rob that guy because he has a fucking MK forty-seven? No, let's not go to that MK motherfucker's 47. house. So let's uh, let's say this. The, That's the a Mark forty-seven. There. Everything, <laughs> all the world goes down and goes crazy and stuff like that. And you need a gun. Where are you going? Up. You going over Kennedy's because he knows he's got one and he's sitting there fixing a computer. If you need a screen. gun, you come over here i'll protect you but I, don't I, I, yeah I like you, you, the, the scenario the scenario you put you just put up is so you think the guy in a post-apocalyptic world where there's no guns and he has a gun is gonna be like well i'm gonna leave the gun in my house no he's gonna walk everywhere with it like you can't carry <laughs> all your guns you can't. chris yes, the, you can. the mk47 is an actual gun that's a real gun mk47 mutant oh shit even has a cool name Shoots a seven six two by three nine. How did you not know MK forty seven was real? I thought you were talking about. I thought you. We thought you were talking about AK forty seven. No, uh, MK forty seven was real too. Uh, he was. Uh, Class. <laughs> uh, can we learn more about you? Oh, you can uh, go on uh, Instagram or Twitter. Uh, go on Twitter because that one's open, and uh, it's Chris Class B R H. All right, there we go. Yeah, a friend requests me on Instagram, and we'll see. And then Joshua. Yeah, uh, well, if you want to see me bitch and moan about, like, sports and uh, video games, follow me on Twitter at Green Eyed Bebop. And if you want to see me post pictures, it's the same thing on Instagram, Green Eyed Bebop. All right. The Twitter interaction. Uh, Kennedy, you need, a, you, need, you need a little more Twitter interaction, man, because I like. I know, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I, 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 I like seeing especially those two go at Bless it. Bless you. Bless you. Bless <laughs> you. It's the funny. worst the worst is the fact that I'm playing a game that he will never play <laughs> on a system that he never puts on. I watched a that, video that said, hey, like, 10 things they like, don't, they don't like, tell hey, you about. You didn't know that? The, I'm like, yeah. Okay. Army or whatever it's called. And it's like, you can pet the fox. You can kill the eagles. And you're like, I want if I can pet the foxes. I know you can. I, I want to kill that. the eagles. I didn't say yes, that. You, I didn't say that. you don't know. You won't even play the game. No, no, don't see now. You're exaggerating, <laughs> motherfucker. I asked the question. I was like, I wonder if I could kill the eagles. And my friend was like, yeah. Then you chime in. I don't even have the game, but I can, even I know I could do that. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> dick. 
This and was, then another. This, this was I, after the fox, though. The fox was the first one. The fox was like, He's like I didn't even know like, you could pet the fox. I was like, I didn't know you could pet the foxes. That's pretty cool. Oh, even I know you could. Shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> you're never going to play the game. I know this for a fact. Maybe I will play the game. Never, you're not playing that game because oh. number one, it's too fucking long. There you go. And two, you just, you're just going to get bored of it real quick. I already know you. Is that a G.I. Joe figure there? That's the, yeah, the Dreadnoughts, uh, whatever. Nuts. Yeah. yeah, their shit. I'm just going through like all these old, just bags of shit I have. <laughs> I like to. I, I'm wanting to like whenever I get a new place to get some mask figures and stuff because I always love. Them. Yeah, all vintage, vintage Joes. Very cool. There's some great. Yeah, stuff. got a bunch of shit here. All right. To uh, yeah. learn more about the Fracking Nerds, you can go to us on Facebook, Instagram, our YouTube channel, which you get to see the live video of this. Uh, you can find the podcast on Spreaker. Uh, Google anywhere you can get Spotify. It's it's up there. You can listen to us, but it's better to look at us because uh, we care about our appearances. Uh, if you need uh, more information about me and you want to follow me on Twitter, Doc underscore Martin, as a uh, troll Joshua every day, wait for him to post something and then uh, either animate a GIF or just a response so that he has to put the must you. That's just typically uh, you posting likes going. This motherfucker's gonna say something. No, there's sometimes where you catch me off guard. There was one that I was like, oh, at least you're keeping up with the trend. I think it was with Bane. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Got to give him credit for that one. <laughs> I applaud this one. I don't know. The, 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 the way those animated GIFs work perfectly, I was like, oh, I don't know how, but they're, they're right like, in mind of what I need. They, they, I was like, you know what? He's, he's knocking them out the fucking park, man. Can't, can't hate on that I tr- one. I try, to, like, I try to respond with appropriate animated art. So, I mean, there we go. All oh right. my god it's the again. <laughs> but yeah if you haven't watched harley quinn check it out on uh hbo max or if you have the dc universe before it gets pulled off the air uh you can check it out no yeah. you shouldn't say that it's a, once dc universe stops showing stuff yeah it just, stops, it it to just goes to comics only yeah. if they actually do that so uh we'll wait and see all right, gentlemen. Well, thank you for uh, spending some time with me today. And I know with all the technical troubles, maybe we'll get that fixed. In three hours. <sighs> it's, it's, That's all right. The show's not three hours, so it's, it just took a while. Is it all God, right, class? Because I'm pretty sure if I keep pissing off this lady, I'm taking up that spare room of yours. Come on over, man. I got two extras. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Bring some artwork, too. He needs it up there. We'll just... <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, we'll... A, that's, a, that's a TV show I'll pay to see. Fucking Kennedy and fucking class. That would just be class. a podcast <laughs> studio over there. Let's just do it. Class <laughs> and Kennedy. Move, <laughs> 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 so, like, so for Kennedy straight. all the way over in Indiana, Chris Class, who's also over there in Indiana, and the guy with his birthday pillows on the east coast joshua carabello (laughs) this is doc martin saying have a fracking good week